Yo, so you're gonna be here for one of two reasons. Either you watch Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch, or you're just looking for a Dragon Link combo. If this is your first time here, hello, welcome. I run a show called Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch where basically we're building a competitive Dragon Link deck using just sealed product. The deck's coming along nicely and the bulk of this video is pretty much going to be theorizing the plan going forward and how I intend to get to that competitive level. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and join me on this journey. However, before we get into any theory and for ease of access and future reference, We'll jump into the combo now. Right, so for the full board, it's going to be a two card combo. The first card being any Ib engine. This could be, you know, Overraptor or a Mathematician. But for this video, we're going to be using Draconet. The second card can be any one of these 10 extenders that gets you to the remaining combo pieces. Okay, so let's show you how it's done. Now, if you don't open Cyanet Mining, the combo will require one discard. However, if you do open Cyanet Mining, obviously it's gonna need two discards. So Monster Reborn here is literally just discard fodder. But anyway, you're gonna start by normal summoning Draconet and activating its effect to summon Galaxy Serpent from your deck. Then using those two as materials, you're gonna synchro summon Ib, the World Chalice Justiciar from your extra deck and activate her effect to search World Legacy Guard Dragon. Activating it now, you're going to revive Galaxy Serpent from your grid graveyard and then make a link to, it could be any generic link to with uh, bottom left and bottom right arrows. Uh, for this video we're going to use Lampholinkus, but this will trigger Ib's second effect to special summon World Chalice Guard Dragon from the deck. From here you're going to link into my boy Striker Dragon and search for Boot Sector Launch on summon. If you opened Quick Launch you don't actually need the field spell, but we will be using it later in this example. Then using the effect of World Chalice Guard Dragon you're going to banish it from the graveyard to special summon Galaxy Serpent. Linking LP into the arrow Striker Dragon points to, you can then activate its effect to summon Red MD from deck. Red MD you will summon back any dragon from your graveyard, it really doesn't make a difference, and then Red MD and LP will link into Romulus to search you for Dragon Ravine on summon. Now if your opponent has Nibiru and hasn't used it yet, they're going to feel pretty dumb because you're about to summon Apoloza to the Zone Striker Dragon points to. Using Romulus and your Link 2 as materials, you're going to summon her with 2 negates and 1600 attack points. Then from here, you'll use Striker Dragon and the other dragon you revived to make Heavenly Spheres. Now you're about halfway through and can take a quick breather, you don't want to overthink things in your head. Then when you're ready, you're going to activate Dragon Ravine and activate its effect, discarding any card, to bin... Absorator Dragon. This will get you a search for any rocket, so you're going to add Rocket Tracer to your hand. Now, in this example, I'm going to activate Dragon Shrine to send Galactic Spiral Dragon to the grave. The order doesn't really matter, you could have done it the other way around, but as long as you have Spiral in grave and Tracer in hand, you're good to go. So, we're going to activate Boot Sector Launch and activate its effect to special summon Tracer from hand. Linking into Pisty, you can then activate the effect of World Legacy Guard Dragon to move it left one zone so you can trigger its effect. Obviously bringing back Red MD, and then after that you want to activate the effect of Galactic Spiral Dragon to revive itself. It's important that you do this before activating the effect of Red MD because otherwise you'll screw yourself over. Not that it really matters because your opponent's probably either fallen asleep or rage quit by now. But anyway, after summoning Galactic Spiral you want to activate its effect to make everything level 8 and then you can activate the effect of Red MD. So revive Tracer and then overlay Red MD and Spiral into Hope Harbinger. Not only does he negate a spell, but he also prevents your opponent just attacking over your Apoloza. But from there you'll activate Tracer's effect, popping Pisty to special summon a level 4 rocket from your deck, and then synchroing into Borrowload Savage. On summon, Savage equips a Link 2 from your grave, and wham bam thank you ma'am, there is your board! You don't die to Super Poly, and to make your opponent cry even more, you can summon something like Amorphage Sloth off of your spheres, and they can't do anything about it because Harbinger just redirects the attack. Now obviously, like any other deck, it has its weaknesses, Nibiru being a big one for this combo in particular. Draconet is also quite a big choke point as well, so if that gets interrupted, then you might struggle. And then on top of that, you've got less popular options like Dark Ruler No More and Sphere Mode, which just break the board as well. So we want to build the rest of the deck to sort of counter those counters. However, on the other hand, it's a board that plays around Super Poly, which is really nice, and unlike the Thunder Dragon deck, it doesn't lose to evenly matched. So yeah, if you manage to build the board you basically win and that is going to be the end game win condition of Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch. But how are we going to get there? Are we doomed to playing second until we open all of these cards? 
No, and I'll show you how. If we strip the combo down to the bare minimum number of cards you need to actually perform it, this is what you get. Then, if you remove every card we already have, it turns out we're not actually missing that much, which brings us to the three stages of progress. Stage 1 involves Deck Mommy and Draconet. When we finally pull her, we can use the same two card combo from before, except we would be ending on two interruptions, but we would also be resolving a Soyuja. Stage 2 involves Romulus and number 38 Hope Harbinger. This bumps that same combo up to three interruptions including a Saryuja. And then finally stage three is Striker Dragon and Apollosa where we can make the full board. So currently getting these cards in this order is the focus of the series right now and you know it's gonna take quite a few weeks. But in the grand scheme of things even when we do obtain all the cards for full combo we're still only about halfway there. We still have half a deck to fill out. And with no perfect Dragon Link deck list out there we're pretty much left on our own to build it. Challenge accepted, my dudes. First things first, we want to take a look at our starter cards. So with three copies of Draconite and one copy of Cyanet Mining, we only have four. Ideally, we want to have about 12. So trying to get the last two copies of Cyanet Mining is a good place to start. There are two other one card Ib engines in the form of Overaptor and Mathematician, however both of those combos require Carbon Eden, and with his only printing being in the original Dragons of Legend booster pack, he's a little bit out of reach. Konami reprint please. Thankfully, we got an alternative recently in Chaos Impact in the form of Star Liege Dragon Seifert. While it's not as good as any of the one card Ib engines, it is better than nothing. So getting three copies of him would put us to nine starters, which I guess we'd have to do for now. Which also helps fill out our deck because if we're playing Seifert, then we have to play Wyver Burster and Collapse Serpent as well. Now obviously in a combo deck, you want your starter cards to resolve and Draconet is just a hand trap magnet. So while three called by the grave is basically a given, you also want your extenders to kind of ensure that your combo will go off even through a hand trap. One very good example of this would be Unexpected Die. Being able to special summon a tuner from your deck sets you up to make Ib anyway even if your starter card does get negated. Sadly, Unexpected Die is also very hard to come across in sealed product. So a very obscure alternative I have to that is Dino Coca-Cola. It's definitely worse due to the fact that it's not a normal monster, but it does serve the exact same purpose. So with that being a level 2 tuner and Draconet being level 3, if Draconet gets negated, I can still make Ib anyway. It would also synergize with Quick Launch if I was to main Auto Rocket Dragons, so you know, it, it kind of works all together. And that in total would nearly complete a rough draft of our final list. There's so many good generic Dragon support cards that would help fill out the remaining spots in the list, like Levianir, Phantasme, Brotar, Tempest. It's just a case of finding out which ones are the best. And really, the only way to find that out is through hard testing, which won't really happen until we get there, so we have a while to figure it out. For now, I will throw up on screen our first draft at the final build, which is most likely to go through multiple changes by the time we finish the series, especially considering the fact that I've not even tested it yet. But Euros isn't normally until June or July, so there's no rush, we have plenty time. And honestly, in that time, there's probably going to be like two or three ban lists, plus a whole bunch of new products coming out that will definitely change the direction of our deck, namely things like Need Needle Fiber, Boral End Dragon, which I'm super excited about, and Union Carrier, which is just busted. But if you have any suggestions for the deck, then let me know in the comments because your input has helped in the past and I value that quite highly. But for now, to round out the video, I'm going to hop on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro and give you a taste of what's to come. So if you managed to listen to my voice and make it this far into the video, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I will see you on Thursday for Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch.
has to slow down Fireplace to eat 